Good morning from Key West, Florida. We are out on the fishing pier right off Higgins Beach. I think it's called Higgins Beach. Anyway, this is a fabulous pier and it's a beautiful day. So our plan today is to take you around and show you Key West, walking Key West. We have seen all the tourist stuff here before because we've stopped on the cruise ship, so. But we've never driven to the Keys. So we are going to just uh, do some walking. Nothing exciting today, just walking around, seeing the sights. And Ed's yeah. all embarrassed about it. I don't understand why. I don't know. It just seems hokey to me. Oh. oh, Phil's calling. Well, across the street there is Captain Tony's. They say that they were the original Sloppy Joes. It's funny, there's a lot of originals here. Everybody wants to be the original, whatever. So anyway, that's Sloppy Joes. They claim to be the oldest bar in Key West. Here in Kino Plaza, they make Kino sandals. And we're gonna go take a look at the factory. Come on. Okay, I'm set. I got my pair of sandals. Look how cute they are. So as Nancy mentioned, tucked away in this corner here of the shops is the Kino Sandal Company. They actually are making the sandals here and they've been making them since 1966. I wish you could smell how good it smells here with all the smells of the leather coming out of the factory. One of the real popular things to do here is to take the comp train. Uh, I have taken this before. Unfortunately, they won't allow the dogs on the, on the um, train, so we're not going to be taking that today. But I just wanted to show you, if you want to see Key West, this is a really good way to do it. Is just hop on the train and let them explain everything to you. Okay, we found Mallory Square, so we're gonna go over and show you and look around in Mallory Square. Herky thinks he's gonna get a hold of one of these chickens. We he are, would love to. We are not gonna let him get, from what I understand, there's a hefty fine if you kill one of these chickens. Uh -oh. So, Herky, uh, no. we're not gonna let him near those chickens, but uh, man, it's almost unavoidable. I 
I just love this building behind us. We've seen it for years because the cruise ships dock behind it and we've walked through this little courtyard area to come out into Key West to shop. Anyway. I like it. Today it's the um, Museum of Art and History for Key West. Uh, we've been there before. Just want to show you the outside of the building and then across the street is the Mel Fisher uh, Maritime Museum, which is another great tour here. In 1833, the U.S. government purchased this land behind me and built this U.S. Coast Guard. Well, it was the Coast Guard building. It's been had several uses uh, for the Navy and for the lighthouse tending operations. Um, so anyway, today it's a bunch of shops. Hey, it looks now really it's good. shops. So I think I'll go over there and see what there is. I enjoy the I'll history. Back, she enjoys the shops. We are getting ready to walk down here and look at the little White House. Um, so we'll catch up with you in just a second. Oh my word, you guys, look at this banyan tree. I had to stand up in here. Do you see this? Of course, if I see a snake, I'm running, but this is gorgeous. Look up in here. We're here in the garden area of the Truman Annex here in Key West. It's really awesome. The sign says in 1974 they discontinued use of this, but this was a naval station for the U.S. Navy. Today it's, um, you know, they have a hotel complex and some other things here and some office buildings. Man, it is just beautiful. The day is great and we're enjoying walking around just looking at all the architecture. Just taking a quick tour of the grounds here at the little white house um, it is said that the department of defense was actually birthed here the idea came uh, as truman was here on a retreat it's been used by many presidents they call this the truman little white house i guess maybe he used it more but i know that jimmy carter was here and john f kennedy and some other uh famous presidents were here um, you can walk around the grounds today, but the, the problem is, is uh, Herky's not allowed in. So Nancy's out with Herky, and I'm just kind of touring the grounds really quick. Here they have a retired presidential limousine on display here. Um, it's been restored and it's immaculate. Pretty, pretty cool to look at this and, and enjoy. So how do I look? Standing outside the headquarters, the first headquarters for Pan American Airlines. Pretty neat that uh, this building still exists today. Uh, it was from here the first international flights were scheduled from here to Havana, Cuba. To the southernmost part of the United States. Is that right? That's correct. We have been here before, but Herky's first time. Because and Jack's other, first time. Because the other times we were on a cruise ship. Right. But what happens is, is hundreds of people line up here every day to get their picture get taken their by picture this taken. buoy. So there's like one at a time, and uh, everybody's pretty courteous and that, and they just uh, take their pictures one at a time. Here. As you can see, the tour bus stops by too. And so, there's a train that goes by to make sure Herky's out of the road. Man, we're getting so close. Yeah, we're gonna get hit by the tour bus. So, um, and look, there was a snow cone stand, so, oh, you know. Nancy got, Nancy uh, got herself a snow cone. It is pretty warm here today. It feels good. So I think what we're gonna do is run over here and take Herky's picture. We're not gonna wait in the line, but we're gonna no. take Herky's picture at the southernmost part of the United States. And Highway US 1. Yep. Mile marker zero.
the smash penny. Ed wasn't there to get the video, but I've got it. We found our spot for sunset. We are here at the side of the highway. We have this view of the ocean. We've been here about three hours. There goes Herky. And um, we've had our snack, and we are waiting for sunset. This has been so relaxing, just sitting here enjoying it. We got our van all set up here where we can get our snacks out. What a great way to end the day. We are going to end this day the way we started it out here on the pier, but we are going to wait for the sun to set and it's getting ready to. It's amazing. We have a rainbow in front of us and the sunset behind us. We have had a perfect day here in Key West and it's just been so enjoyable enjoying the weather. I need to leave. Honey, you know, we have to leave so we can start our next adventure. Okay.